Hi everyone, welcome to the computation of the total sick time using shortest sick time first scheduling algorithm or the SSPF. So when we say total sick time, we are referring to the total time taken to locate the disk arm to a specified track where the data is to be read or write or it is the total number of track movement of read, write, head. In shortest seek time first scheduling algorithm or SSTF, request having shortest seek time are executed first. So the seek time of every request is calculated in advance in the queue and then they are scheduled according to their calculated seek time. As a result, the request near the disk arm will get executed first. Or we can also say that in shortest seek time first scheduling algorithm, the request which will result to a minimal arm movement will be executed first. Say for example, we are given here our track range which starts from zero and ends in 199. The order of request or the request queue contains track numbers 5, 82, 50, 14, 10, 74, 67, and 196. The current position of the read write head is at track number 16. So how are we going to compute the total seek time using shortest seek time first scheduling algorithm. So for us to be able to compute the total seek time using shortest seek time first scheduling algorithm, we need first to have a representation of our given data. So we have here our track range which starts from zero and ends in 199. The current position of the read write head is at track number 16. And then the requesting track numbers are track number 5, track number 82, track number 50, track number 14, track number 10, track number 74, track number 67, and track number 196. So since this is shortest seek time first scheduling algorithm, wherein the request which will result to a minimal arm movement will be executed first, then we are going to start from the current position of the read write head, which is at track number 16, and it will move towards the track number which will result to a minimal arm movement okay so from track number 16 it can move towards track number 14 and it can also move towards track number 50 but then going to track number 14 from track number 16 will result to a minimal arm movement as compared to going to track number 50 from track number 16. So therefore, from track number 16, it will move towards track number 14. From track number 14, okay, it can move towards track number 10 and it can also move towards track number 50. But since going to track number 10 will result to a minimal arm movement as compared to going to track number 50 then from track number 14 it will move towards track number 10 then from track number 10 it can move towards track number 5 and track number 50 but since going to track number 5 will result to a minimal arm movement as compared to going to track number 50, so therefore, from track number 10, it will move towards track number 5. And then, from track number 5, it will now move to track number 50. Okay. From track number 50, it will 
move towards track number 67. Okay, from track number 67, it will move towards track number 74. From track number 74, it will move towards track number 82. And finally, from track number 82, it will move towards track number 196. Okay, so let us now compute the total sick time. We start from the movement of the first direction of the head that is from the current position of the head which is at track number 16 going to track number 14 and then going to track number 10 then going to track number 5. Okay, so this is the first direction coming from the current position of the read right head okay so n it is equivalent to 16 minus 5 then we add okay, we're going to add the next direction of the head that is from track number 5 okay going to track number 50 and then going to track number 67 going to track number 74, going to track number 82, and going to track number 196. And this is equivalent to 196 minus 5. Okay, so the total sick time now is equivalent to 11 plus 191. Okay, so we now have here 202 as the total sick time using the shortest sick time first scheduling algorithm.